promised in today's video we're gonna go over how to make some delicious food photography uh, let me scroll just to show you a quick example of what we're talking about oh yeah as you can see here the quality is high the camera is perfect the edges are soft I'm I'm really impressed with what this um, has turned out to be and today I'm going to share it with you all right so let's just jump into it these are gonna be your settings to make something very similar version 5 quality 2 I leave style on medium but you can play around with those and if you want to have the prompt right now boom there it is okay so let's break it down style you're gonna leave that as close-up shot you can also do uh, a farther away shot if you want but let's be real if you're trying to get photo you want to be right up in the action genre gourmet um, another one you can do is like Michelin star as in the restaurant emotion tempting I haven't played around with that but I mean it's worked out great for me so far scene now this is where you get to change it up a bit now I use chat GPT 4 to come up with great scenes for me we can find so for example create a list of the 10 best food photographs to sell stock photos all right let's try this one a healthy and comforting bowl of pasta with sauces and toppings so let's hop back into discord and again we're going to find the scene here drop that right into the scene that's going to be the main one that we're looking for and then for tags you can also change these up or shorten it down but i found good results with high-end food photography clean composition dramatic lighting Luxurious, elegant, mouth-watering, indulgent gourmet. Again, I wouldn't necessarily need to change those. Um, you can tinker around with the camera, but the Z7 is good. The Sony A7 Mark II is also really good. So you, you can mess around with that. But honestly, I have it for you guys. So you literally just have to copy and paste this. Change up the scene. And um, if you wanted to change the, uh, the depth, so the background's blurred out, the foreground's more in focus. You can mess around with this and make this like a 60 and that'll basically keep more of the entire photograph in focus. 105 has the background, even sometimes a bit of the foreground blurred out. Composition centered, lighting soft directional, that's the magic touch right there. And then, um, yeah, time evening food silas. I find with time evening, uh, it actually blacks a lot of the background out so everything is pretty much dark besides just a subject if you do like uh, morning or day or well lit then it's going to basically add the counter and a lot more elements in the background again location type interior you can also do exterior and it'll be like a bit of a cafe AR 3x4 it's better than the square it looks a little bit more interesting that's going to be more vertical um, if you do 4x3 it'll be more of a landscape so let's send that in and let's mix it up a bit too. Let's just do the same thing for um, salad. And you can also do hearty uncomforting. Let's do ice cream. Sunday with sauces and topping. Now for this one, I'm gonna be a little bit crazy with it. I'm gonna do dust dash chaos, and I'm gonna put in a value of 20. Now, this is gonna change up what we see. Okay. And <laughs> as you can see, this is the pasta that just came out. Let's zoom in on that, that's beautiful. We got the toppings. I know I was trying to craft some pasta in this bowl myself, just using kind of freehand. And I noticed sometimes it would just do the noodles and the cheese, like there'd be no sauce. Sometimes it would just be on a countertop, like who's gonna eat it right off the counter? So getting a bowl, getting everything in the focal light, getting it gourmet, it, it's hard to do without a nice prompt like this. And it's easy to do with a prompt like this. Yeah, I got the cheese in the foreground. Background's all blurred out with that 105 focal length. I couldn't make a better bowl of pasta, or at least a picture of one myself. Yeah, beautiful. That's all you need. Let's look at the salad that just got generated there. It's got every topping you can imagine. That one's even steaming with some eggs in it. Yeah, that fork's a little messy, but... Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. 
And so this one had chaos on it. And so you're going to have a little bit more variation of what you see. They're not all just going to be Sundays. I can see it looks like some wine in the back. <laughs> but, um, well, you can put the cone in the glass. That's bougie. And this is a little uh, mix of spices here. <laughs> see, this is what chaos does. It mixes it up. I love chaos because it's so unpredictable. Something that you can also do with that is here, let's drop in comforting. Let's do just ice cream. Chaos, chaos 20 and then dash dash repeat and I'll put three down. So repeat's a new feature. I'll make a separate video on it, but just uh, just like it sounds, honestly, it's gonna repeat it three times for you so you can make a bigger batch. So instead of just making three, having to copy paste slash imagine prompt, put it all in over again, it just does that for you. Now it does eat up a lot more hours because um, in the span of a couple seconds, it creates four, eight, 12 images for you instead of just four. Now, they just changed it so you can do up to 10 images at once with the servers still being steady. So you can really crank out the hours. I find that really helps with uh, creating text because I know getting, getting text just right in mid journey is hard and you can literally be there for hours, just refresh, refresh, refresh. But if you can do 10 at once, chances are one of them is gonna be on the right track and then you can vary it down. Uh, I'm gonna make a video on that, but oh my gosh, this one looks spooky. It's like a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check these out. So with Chaos 20, you definitely get some inspiration. So if you're ever looking for, oh, I don't know what to do, but I kind of like space. Okay, well, space, astronaut, Chaos 20, and then it'll start putting them in different scenes. Oh, man, look at that. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> it's like a little tiramisu ice cream cake with dark chocolate dripping on it. Oh, man, this one's a little scary. Get those spoopy. Just decadent. And you get some gold on top. Oh man. Yeah, I am um, always impressed by Mid Journey. There's our three sets of images right there. In another video, I'm gonna quickly go over what tips I use for upscaling because um, in Mid Journey version five, as you can see, when you hit upscale within a couple of seconds, it just spits out the images. And you're just like, oh, well, that was a, uh, that was a quick upscale. And then you look at the resolution and it's the exact same as if I were to just open this up in web. So what I tend to do is download the image and then bring it into this program for Mac. It's called Make It Big and you can choose 4X, 16X and it spits out 25 megabyte um, file sizes up to even 100 megabyte file sizes and the details actually there. Let me quickly um, crank open some food photography that got upscaled just so I can really show you the uh, the concept and the quality here. Yeah, as you can see with the um, <laughs> with the upscaling, it really does work. That program's only like three bucks, and then it runs off your own GPU. Uh, again, no affiliation like that, but I just found instead of paying a monthly fee for scaling and doing it via the cloud, which can be convenient and fast, but this is just three bucks for the rest of your life and, um, or three bucks one time and you own it for the rest of your life. And it really cranks out some beautiful images. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I will leave this entire prompt in the um, description below. So go ahead, copy that, try that on yourself. Honestly, it's so easy. You just have to change the scene. And again, you can change things like time of day and focal length if you want, but you can see the images that we can crank out in a couple seconds. Try the repeat function, try the chaos function, get crazy with it and have yourself a great day.